blousey blah blousey blah 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 blousey blah. blah, 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 blah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here with Elias, he's my special guest. I think you'll be seeing him more in these videos, but whatever. <laughs> so, many of you guys know that we moved from Connecticut to Kentucky, so we kinda wanna talk about the pros and cons and the comparison between, I guess, the North and the South, but specifically Connecticut um, and Kentucky. Kentucky. So our perspective, um, Connecticut is obviously way more expensive by like everything, cost of living, taxes, childcare, groceries, like everything. Yeah. Um, and honestly, being from the North, I had a idea of what the South would be like. And since coming here is not like what I thought at all. People are really to themselves here. Um, and they're just chilling. I don't know. I guess it's just that southern thing. What do you think? Yeah, I think people are like just more relaxed here, yeah. more open to saying hi to others. Yeah. <laughs> like in Connecticut. Yeah. Um, not that it doesn't happen in Connecticut, but it's just way more here. Like going to the gas station this morning, like this guy was like genuinely waiting for me to answer him, and I'm like, why, sir? I just want to get my coffee. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Um, but I really enjoy that. People are really nice and. They're more um, intentional about conversation. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about as far as the pros and cons of Lexington are cost of living. Cost of living is definitely a pro. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper here. Yeah. Um, renting kind of varies, but you can, you can like, Okay, you can live in like a luxury apartment and like have all these amenities, swimming pool, gym, whatever you have in these places, maybe like washer and dryer, um, dishwasher, and spend like five ninety five maybe. Maybe. For like maybe a studio, maybe one bedroom. Yeah. Like um, six hundred on average. Yeah. And that's very cheap. You don't find that in Connecticut. Yeah. A lot of the apartments that are like Studio or like one bedroom in Connecticut would probably be like nine hundred to a thousand. Nah, twelve hundred. <laughs> because I'm talking about like all the amenities yeah. and all of that. Definitely twelve hundred dollars, and that's not including utilities you have to pay for. So that is definitely a pro. Um, for buying a house, the average is one eighty five k, which is very cheap. You could probably get like three bed two with that. It might be like. Eleven, mm. like eleven hundred to like thirteen hundred square feet. Um, Normally, yeah, for that. Um, but it's way cheaper in Connecticut. I don't even want to know what the cost of. I, I, we didn't even look that up because we just know it'll probably just make, make us upset. <laughs> when I was looking though, three bed, two bath, and you want something like good and a little spacious, it might be like three hundred k. And sometimes your taxes are more than your mortgage. Like high twos, low threes. Yeah. Or like the really nicer ones. Mm, somewhat nice. Bigger ones. Somewhat bigger, yeah. More, more space. Yeah. So that's just, cost of living in Lexington is bomb diggity. <laughs> I can't believe I just said bomb diggity, bro. <laughs> All right, the con of living here is traffic. Now, I guess there's a pro and con to this. I just think people cannot drive here. Every morning, there's a car accident. And there's two people that live in the state. Like, I don't understand why there are so many car accidents. And like, it's crazy because I used to take the 95 and there wasn't an accident every day, but yet still we were bumper to bumper. So people out here can't drive. Yeah, I feel the same. I feel like people in the tri-state they're like they're crazy driver i feel like everyone's a crazy driver yeah but like but somehow they, they survive yeah versus here is just like people just don't know how to drive yeah. like i'll literally be driving behind someone going i feel like 75 percent of the time i'm driving behind someone who's going less than speed limit 
and I'm just like, oh my god, could you move out the way? Or they just <clears throat> make like, oh, people don't indicate here. Don't indicate. They'll just slow down and turn right. And you're just like, what the heck? I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Yeah. But the amount of actual traffic it's is much beautiful. It's much less than. Yeah. Than the tri-state yeah. for sure. Um, I think people who are from here find Lexington super busy, but we're just like, we got through our downtown in like two minutes. Like that's not traffic to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So most people who live in Lexington. They're from like Eastern Kentucky. Yeah. So it's, there's nothing happening there. Yeah. So they probably have like two cars in front of them, maybe most of their lives. And then yeah. they come here and you're like, Oh my God, there's so much stuff. And we're just like, this is great. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That's that's traffic for y'all. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about childcare because we're parents and all that. Um, in comparison to Connecticut, childcare a month in Connecticut is probably twelve hundred. Now understand that this varies depending on the school, um, depending on if you get government assistance or not. But Connecticut is way more expensive. The average in Kentucky is about five hundred and ninety-five dollars a month for childcare. Um, and like I said, you could pay more. We pay a little more for a better program. Oh, yeah. But even still, I still feel like we don't, we wouldn't, yeah, we don't pay that, that much. We don't pay yeah. a lot compared to like Connecticut prices. Yeah. Um, and we also get like, we don't have to bring diapers in. We don't have to, there's like food, like food programs. Like you literally don't have to pay for food. Like they do breakfast, lunch and snack they do diapers and wipes mm -hmm. the one that we have Kari in actually trains potty trains at two so i mean not having to pay for diapers is great you know like i just i have a box and it lasts so much longer and obviously we're gonna potty train him soon but you know we gonna take our time we gonna take our time but yeah if you have a family definitely it's way cheaper all right, so keeping on the topic of childcare, we're gonna talk about family-friendly activities here. Um, it's, all right, this might be a con for me. Yeah. Just cause like it's very, it's slow, it's nice and peaceful and quiet here, whatever. Lots of great parks. But that's like it, <laughs> there's yeah. like, not much else to do here. Yeah, so there's no aquarium, there's no zoo, um, there's, there's lots no, of farms. There's no real life museum, honestly. Um, yeah. They have a kids museum that's just that's like, like an indoor playground, basically. Not even, it's very dusty. <laughs> like, I don't mean to talk trash, but like, I've been to some really cool children's museums, so when you go to that one, <clears> I was <throat> like, is this place even open? I honestly thought it was abandoned. Yeah. It, um, it looks unkempt. Yeah, and they have like a bubble room, and I was like, it just looks dingy. Yeah. And I mean, the space is nice. It's not super big. Um, it would be nice if they did expand more, but I feel like they need more money. It would be really nice. Yeah, because this downtown is really nice. It's not so big, but it's up and coming. Yeah. Um, it's like homey. It's like a homey downtown. Yeah. It's like four square blocks, but yeah. It's cool though. It is, and they're like re, they're doing uh, like a huge arena. Like, yeah, they've gotten a lot of work done since yeah. we moved here. We've only been here. Well, I've only been here for a few months. A few months. He's been here for over a little over a year. <clears throat> um, but yeah, family friendly stuff. It's kind of just like, meh. you know, there's tons of beautiful parks. So if you, if you love to walk, playgrounds. Like we search for these playgrounds. Um, Maybe but, farms, like in the, they have like in the fall, where do we go to like the fall festival yeah. sort of thing, yeah. it's like yeah. fall activities. Farms and yeah. pumpkins and all that. Mm -hmm. There's horse bike riding, so, because yeah. this is like the capital of horse life. Horse capital of the world. Yeah, so if you're really interested in horses and farms and all that. This is the place to be. For sure. But if you're used to coming from where we are, like yeah. as bad as Bridgeport <clears throat> was, we had a zoo. We had a um, zoo, we had an aquarium nearby. Yeah, and like Trumbull Mall, that's really Bridgeport Mall, yeah. let's be honest. And then like, um, we had New York that was really close to us, so and we can go to the Bronx Zoo, we can go to whatever is in the city, 
Then we had New Haven. New Haven has tons of museums. We loved the museums there. Like that was like yeah. you couldn't run out of that. Um, Children's Museum in Norwalk. That one was good. The aquarium in Norwalk. Um, we had a lot of stuff to do that was really close by. Yeah, and even um, like local libraries were pretty cool <clears> programs. <throat> But in contrast, here you have to like drive to like Louisville or Cincinnati or yeah. something, which is like 80 miles away. Yeah, so, so you have to make like a whole day trip. Yeah. Like you're definitely not having a membership at any of these places because no one has time to be driving three times a week all the way, an hour away just yeah. to, to go somewhere, not with kids. Um, so I just wish that would grow and I think there's a lot of land out here, and Lexington is really big. Um, so <clears> our <throat> hope is that in a few, I don't know, maybe 10 they years or so. They have space to make all this stuff. They do, yeah. So, so yeah, see. that's kind of a con, but we're hoping for a better future here. <laughs> Keeping on the trajectory of fun things to do, we're going to talk about nightlife. Mm, there is a university downtown, the University of Kentucky. So obviously the city has created a lot of... And Transylvania. University. And Transylvania. Um, and other like community colleges. So this is like the hub for college students. Um, so they do have a lot of things downtown. Lots of bars, restaurants. They even have their own Target. Yeah. Like that? I should have came here. Well, I mean, Target wasn't here then, but... Um, there's lots of fun things to do if you are a college night, student. Yeah, college student. Or just wanting to go out. They have really nice restaurants here. Just for young adults in general. Yeah. Um, they have a lot of, it's it's a pretty like open bar scene. Yeah. And uh, they have bars like lined up downtown next to each other. So yeah. you can like just bar hop whenever yeah. you want. Mm-hmm. And I guess um, that's all young people really do. <laughs> they do anything yeah. else. Um, but like we, even during the pandemic, it's still, people are still going out and do, doing whatever. They're figuring out how, whatever. Yeah. Um, the only thing that really sucks, and I guess we're going to talk about that next, is like, yeah, it's just a lot of restaurants, but there's only specific type of restaurants. There's no Jamaican restaurants yeah. out here, bruh. It's None. mostly American yeah. contemporary stuff. Yeah. Which is um, good, but like. Like the food tastes good, but yeah, sometimes I want variety. I want a meal, you know, that's not American, <clears> and <throat> it's really hard to find. Yeah, we did find. Um, so there is a really so we're gonna talk about diversity now since we're diving in. Yeah. So it's seventy percent white, fourteen point five percent black, which is nothing. <laughs> like three percent Asian and or Latino, which is also nothing. Um, so. Compared to where we're coming from. Yeah. Um, like Bridgeport is 40% black and like 35% Latino and other races. Yeah. Stuff, so. so diversity is a con here. Um, I just wish to see. I don't think I've ever met a Jamaican being here, which is crazy. Um, and that's weird to me because Jamaicans be everywhere and it's not here. There are a lot of Congolese people here. Yeah. I can say that for, for sure. There's been like a recent refugee influx of Eastern Congolese people here. So. Yeah. So that's it cool. That's as close as I get to maybe some Jamaica, Jamaican cuisine. Yeah. Um, they do have like African and Caribbean stores here. Markets. And some of them, yeah, markets and some of them actually do sell food. And I've had some, but it still doesn't taste like. Yeah. Jamaican food. I like the stuff we're used to. Yeah. Um, so that's, that kind of sucks. You know, diversity is really important to us. Yeah. Um, especially for our son going to school. Like, we want him to go to a good school, but we also don't want him to go to a school where he's like the three other black kids and that's it. Like, I, like, no. Yeah. I want him to go to a school that is a really good school and very diverse. Because that's how the world should be. Um, that's how the world is. And we just want the schools to represent that. And yeah. the population. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. And um, we can talk about education now since we're over here talking about schools. Like literally going down the list perfectly. Um, child care centers I think can do better. I think the ratio here. A teacher to student ratio is too high. Um, I think 
it should be one to four, like one teacher to every four students, two years old and younger. But here is one to, it's one to six, I believe. And at when they, two year olds, I think it's one to Twelve, seven no seven. and then beyond that it's one to like 13 14 mm -hmm. once they're like three and four and i'm like that's way too high i don't i don't know how i've been in it i was a teacher and had that many kids and i was like i cannot do this this is too much work so many kids by myself like how are these kids really learning there's so many of them it's like kind of hard to get to to them so that is a definite downfall like a con to education but there's lots of different schools. They have a STEAM school here, which if you know anything about STEAM, it's kind of like the new educational wave where it's science and technology, engineering, arts, and math implemented in the curriculum. Um, and I think that's awesome because I taught that and I really enjoyed doing that because it made me creative as a teacher to come up with different fun stuff for the kids to learn. So yeah. there's different kinds of schools. There's Montessori school here, which I don't think I've ever seen a Montessori in Connecticut. And, I don't remember seeing one in Connecticut. Yeah, they have like Montessori daycares, but here they have a Montessori elementary and high school. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. And a lot of these schools, regardless if they're poor or not, they have land. So they all have a sports program. They all have all this stuff. Even if they didn't, they have the university, which I'm pretty sure they collaborate with uh, elementary and high schools because why wouldn't they? It's just smart. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think education's okay. Oh, it's in Lexington, the 25th. 25th for most educated city in the nation. Cities in the nation, which is good. It's good, because Bridgeport was not that yeah. high. It was like... Yeah, it was not. <laughs> it was not. So, so we're going to talk about government assistance, because I feel like a lot of these videos don't really talk about this, because maybe they never had to use it. Um, but we use it and we ain't ashamed to talk about it because, yeah. So, in Connecticut, it was so easy to get government assistance. I'm going to just say it. They're going to be like, huh, what's your name? How much do you make? Bam, here you go. Here, they're like, we need your blood type. What's your mother's maiden name? Like, I'm like, bruh. Like, yeah. <laughs> what in the world? <clears throat> like, they really require a lot from you. And I'm guessing that's because Which, so many people have abused the system. Right. I mean, it kind of still doesn't make sense seeing as Kentucky is one of the poorest states in yeah. the nation by rank. Yeah. So shouldn't it be like common knowledge that, you know, their citizens don't have that much money. That's why they're asking for this stuff. Right. So it shouldn't be that hard to get it. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, that was just weird. Um, and just speaking on that, there are actually a lot of people here on drugs and they're homeless. That's probably a con of the city too. Um, mm -hmm. not that they really interact or bother you or anything like that, but it's just sad to see, um, like so much of, of it. A lot of major cities have, yeah. like, an increasing homeless population. Yeah. But the drug abuse out here is more is than, higher. than a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Um, and just wages overall are pretty low. Like, I don't know what the... Some of the lowest in the nation. Yeah. So... And that made it kind of hard for us in the beginning. Like, I went from making a certain amount in Connecticut as a teacher and having all this experience to coming here and they're paying me, like, nothing. And I'm like, I'm worth so much more. So I had to switch things up and become a nanny again where I can have... Even that's not that much money. Like, obviously, like, like, I'm making six figures, but it's just more uh, money than usual. And it's just really hard to find those jobs that pay more. Um, also depending on what your field is um, but yeah that's it's really hard to get assistance but once you get it keep it <laughs> yeah. definitely keep it yeah so we're gonna talk about our last last thing and we're gonna talk about healthcare. Um, we in this city Lexington there's a lot of hospitals there's UK there's Baptist Health there's St. Joseph's. St. Joseph's. And they're literally in the same... They're all like a, mi not like, like a mile apart, like depending yeah. on which direction. Yeah. So we hear a lot of ambulances all day long. Yeah, because we live right next to one. Yeah, we live like right down the road. Um, and it's crazy because everyone's just like, 
Do you hear that? <laughs> like, wait, where is it coming from? And everyone's just looking. Yeah, yeah, they don't blare their sirens like we're used to. Because he li like where he lived, Yale University is there, yeah. so it was like bah, bah, bah. here they're just like, ee, ee, and I'm yeah. like, is it an emergency or no? So like you really don't hear it until they're like right there, and I hate that because I'm like, you start to panic. Like where is it going? It catches you off guard every single time, every single time. Um, but they do drive very slow. I feel like in Connecticut, people like Vroom! <laughs> versus here, they're just like we're gonna take our time. Right. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of healthcare options. Like it's almost overwhelming. Um, and they have branches, all these different yeah. like hospitals. Yeah. They have systems. Yeah. In different branches all over town. Mhm. Mm um, I will say like if you're looking into holistic care, um, there isn't that much, but you can find some. Um, in Louisville and Cincinnati. Yeah, but there's some. There's a couple here. There's a couple here. There's a couple here that you can actually, but it's just hard because anything that you would think like major city related, mm -hmm. you have to drive to Louisville or Cincinnati. Basically. Yeah, like all the major, major, major stuff. Yeah. Um, definitely too. I think more Louisville than Cincinnati. Yeah. <laughs> um, just because it's the same state. Yeah. So, um, talking on like therapy. Um, I have yet to find a black therapist, so there ain't none of that out here. Um, like yeah. I said, the population is 70% white, so obviously, you know, yeah. unless you use some sort of outsource that's not a part of the state or whatever. That's or really like, just like online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Virtual. Yeah. But overall, let's say, you know, one being the worst, 10 being the best, what is your view on Lexington? Like, what would you give it a rating? Currently, a six and a half, seven. Six and a half, seven. In that range. Yeah, I would definitely say seven. Um, what would make it like better is just more family friendly stuff and more diversity for me. Because everything else is alright, you know? Yeah. Like, it's not terrible. I wish government assistance <clears throat> was a little more helpful because, like, your wages are so low. Like, you really think people could afford life, <laughs> you right. know? Um, but cost of living is great. You can move into a really, really, really great place. For not so much. For not so much. And that's really important. So, yeah. yeah. So that's our, our, our view on Lexington, our pros and cons. Let me know what you... Think below if you're from lexington comment below do you agree with what we're saying are you like no you've only been here for like so long what are you talking about uh, <laughs> i feel like you don't have to be here long like when you move from another state yeah like it hits you immediately like oh this is how this works i um, mean we're familiar with new york so there's nothing yeah beyond that no no oh. that place is expensive very expensive so anyway thank you uh and we hope to make some more content together <laughs> all right see you guys next time bye <laughs>